what bullshit story have I got to wake up to this morning? Well, the Home Office has decided that they're going to roll out across the UK knife-free chicken boxes, and they're going to come with stories in fast food chicken outlets, so KFC, Morley's if you're in the south, south of London, and places like that. Knife-free chicken boxes, where they're going to have stories of how far people can go if they carry knives. I assume these are meant to be horror stories. I haven't actually seen in one of these boxes yet, but I assume they're meant to be like horror stories of what can happen if you carry a knife. And they reckon this is going to help prevent knife crime. Now, A, as a good friend of mine said, putting knife free on chicken boxes, it just sounds like an advert to stop people using cutlery to eat their chicken. Which I think is probably a more worthy cause than this. But, um, it's not going to stop people stabbing each other. The same way that putting on cigarette packets, smoking cigarettes may cause cancer, is going to stop people from smoking. It's not going to work. It's half arsed It's just paying lip service to the cause, and it's not actually tackling it. Now, a lot of people are saying, harsher prison sentences are needed. Well, that's not going to work either, because that's not a deterrent. Prisons weren't exactly the better roses in the 50s when they locked the craze in the Tower of London. That didn't stop them stabbing Jack the Hat to death, did it? In America, their prison system, their justice system is so harsh, they are putting their criminals in, ch in chairs, in tables, strapping them down and putting them to sleep. They're still out there killing each other, shooting each other and stabbing each other. It's not going to change. It's only going to change if you tackle the root of the problem. If you cut out the culture of knife carrying and knife crime, the gang culture. And you can do that any number of ways. You can say more stop and search if you want. Personally, I don't, don't agree with that. But at least it's actually doing something. It's actually making an effort. Personally, for me, what I see as the solution to the problem is better funding of social services, social programs, things like that, youth services, to give kids a place to go, a place to be, and something to do, as opposed to going out, joining a gang, carrying a knife, and ultimately killing someone or, or getting killed themselves. You need to actually fund something that gives kids a purpose, gives them a place to be rather than in a gang, and gives them something to actually strive for, something to achieve. You can't just put knife free on a chicken box. It's ridiculous, it's pointless, it's not going to actually achieve anything. The same way that saying, oh, we should just be harsher in prison, just give them a, a toilet in the corner and three meals a slop a day, it's not going to achieve anything. It hasn't achieved anything. Our prisons were like that for decades, for decades, hundreds of years even, and they didn't stop people killing each other. If you want to stop particularly knife crime, particularly gang violence, you have to cut out the root cause. You have to cut out the fact that millions of kids are disaffected, disenfranchised, they've got nowhere to go, nowhere to be, nothing to strive for, no hopes and no ambitions, and you have to cut that out and you have to actually invest in some real social programs to give kids something to do, somewhere to be, and a, something to strive for. Thanks for watching. This has been a very early morning video on Knife Crime. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.